Three crime incident today. Right and now, we could start with the first one. Teenager charged with house breaking and larceny. Little teenager, you know. Can you believe that? The next incident. Government moves to criminalize the use of cell phone by prisoners. And viewers and subscribers, the third incident. Clarendon man charged over gun attack. You know, better get ready for that one. Because that one is serious. You see it? Chia. I am the jackal, Jamaican assassin killing all names. You already know what it is, man. For you hear the voice, you already know it's the urban legend himself. Baga Things Media TV, subscribe to it. You and the family, you can vibe to it. Accurate news, ain't no lies to it. You know this the truth, subscribe, stupid. Yeah, man, you know what it is, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Representing for the baddest channel on YouTube TV. Baga Things Media TV, man. The only place you need to be tapped into. Jack who said that. You as our subscriber reading from the star, I could jump in it right now. We now waste no time. Here we are going on now. Officer attached to the Hanover Police Division have arrested and charged two teenage boys with housebreaking, larceny, and malicious destruction of property following an incident which occurred in Spanish Hill, Hanover, sometime in August. Reports are that on Sunday, August the 16th, a caretaker securely locked up a house and left. On Saturday, August the 29th, about 8.50 a.m., the caretaker discovered that the house was broken into. It was also discovered that several items value approximately Jamaican 200,000 were damaged or stolen. An investigation was launched, which later led to the arrest and charge of the two. Their court date is being finalized, viewers and subscribers. So the teen, the teen, them gone to prison. <laughs> or should I say them gone to jail, they don't reach a prison yet. Viewers and subscribers, I've been noticing a trend going on in Jamaica as it relates to the teen, them. Holy heap teen in a Jamaica I get caught up in a wrongdoings. I don't know, and most of the charges the way they might get are some big man charge and big old man charge. Some serious something. We're talking about house breaking and larceny. A big man thing that you know. I know teen something. Them not give you the full age and so and description of the teens, you know. Them kinda um hide them and we tell them because you are going to know. You don't know so certain things when it comes to teens, you have to deal with it very carefully. You see me I say, but me don't know how them look up in here get caught up in them something. Are the parents them fault or what? Are the parents them try them best and do what them for do? But the pity them just are these and stubborn. I don't know. What do you feel? I want you to comment below and tell me if I saw the pity them go on in Jamaica now, the little juvenile them. You see me I say? I don't know. Now ladies and gentlemen, we can move to the next incident. Reading from the loop. Government moves to criminalize the use of cell phone by prisoners. Jesus God. Look how long them for do this. Remember, I did a few videos, recent videos with Wally Pa Bad Man a car shot behind behind um the jail cell. You, know? you have one other, you have clans, you have all our bad gangs them in Jamaica a car shots behind bars. And bugger things me that he be been complaining. Finally, one of the ministers them watch my channel and say, boy, I'm here talk about it so long. It's a good thing. Say them and watch my video, them, you know. Come here, tell us, I've been talking about these things. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, no phone yourself already. And the man them start now to say, you're a real thing, bugger things, media, TV attack. And finally, them agree with me. Now, let me tell you what I'm say now. The ability of inmates to continue to direct their criminal operation from behind bar or from behind prison was with use of cell phones will soon be significantly curtailed. I know curtailed, more anti curtailed. More anti annihilated, more anti done with, more anti get rid of, more anti be dismantled, more anti non existent in a Jamaican prison. I that more evil. But here we are going now. We are going to work with Curtil still. For, for now, we are going to work with Curtil. Let's see it. Because Curtil is just a soft word, you know. Curtil simply means reduce. You are reduce something. You are curtailing it. Meaning you are reduce it to certain levels and everything. We want it to be destroyed completely. But as me say, we are work with Curtil. I hear what I say. Let's continue now. This as the government is taking step to amend the outdated Corrections Act, especially as it relates to the possession and use of contraband inside penal institute. 
Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of National Security, Senator Matthew Samuda, said that the amendment will result in criminal charge or charges being leveled against inmates found in possession of contraband. Look how long, look how long bagger things media TV are preached to them and I cry. Lord God, me can't believe, but see there. Finally, finally, finally. Ladies and gentlemen, in quotation, you we must say now. The minister will soon carry to the cabinet for its approval the new act to govern the correctional services. We expect to have this tabled in parliament for debate and subsequent approval in no longer than three months, said Samuda. Ladies and gentlemen, who not subscribe yet, please do so right now. Touch up the notification bell, also the like button. We need every damn button to be touched up right now. You see that? And that's some mood I say. And bigger, and serious money and deal with it and not play around because whole heap of boys stay in a jail and a car shots. You have man at the whole heap of things in a jail scene with behind bar like a boy. Them out on the street. There's something you have to stop. But me continue, you know. The paper goes on to say he was speaking Friday during a media briefing hosted by the ministry. Samuda said the new act will create a modern legal framework for us to operate within and will give the men and women who lead the correctional services the tools that they desperately need to ensure they run the correctional services in a particular manner. End quotation. I tell you, I say, I did something we want, man. We can't play around with the crime business in Jamaica, man. We say criminal and wicked. They might call shots from outside. No, let me continue. Some of the Jamaica's most dangerous prisoners, including murderers and gang leaders, have been known to order it from behind bars and to continue running extortion rackets while serving lengthy prison sentences. These reports go back several years. And me if you tell you now, a real thing, this is a man, on a follow bag of things, media TV, man. Now, catch okay, your levels now, on a year, what I must say again. In June, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang told the parliament that these inmates should soon find the ability to do so significantly curtailed as 24 such prisoners were identified and were subsequently moved to newly constructed cells. Now, in quotation, we will have all the high-value criminals in a place where they can no longer give instruction, Chang stated. The new prison cells are reportedly equipped with technology that blocks communication signal. Jesus God, our Father what in heaven. Look how long and these technology and another big old rocket scientist thing. Long time them something have to stop in the... I <laughs> with the blood clean. Yeah, yeah, I know. We still give thanks because it's better it late than never. You see me, I say, so we still give thanks. God, me not lie. A long time ain't something have to be instituted in a Jamaican prison system because too much criminal in the I do. Holy part things and the man them the on Facebook, the man them the on Instagram, the man them the on dating site, the man them do every damn thing like say a street end. Who are the mama blood clean to go on? I'm going to jump to the next incident. Clarendon man charged over gun attack. Lord of God, Clarendon in the news again. You know? Clarendon is in the news again, ladies and gentlemen. You are gone. 21-year-old Andre Benton, otherwise called Q of Gibtown Water Lane, Clarendon has been charged with illegal possession of firearm, illegal possession of ammunition, robbery aggravation, and wounding with intent Holy heap of charge, but tell us if they charge a stick, this a boy that has the light of day, you know, and at 21 years old, you know, cannot believe that little, little youth, you know, and smooth. Look for the part where the man choose already, the little youth choose already. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? That youth are supposed to learn some trade. I think if you go up on a farmer, if you go pick apple in Canada or something, I learn mechanic, welding, all of these things, agriculture, farming. Look how much things did the film learn. And the youth go learn badness. My blood clean. No, let me continue now. Benton was accosted and pointed out an identification parade on Saturday, October the 17th. His court date is to be finalized. The police report that about 4.30 p.m. Friday, August the 9th, the complainant was at work along Water Lane in the parish when he was approached by two armed men who opened fire, hitting him. He was taken to hospital where he admitted in stable condition. Boy, I may tell you this, you know, 
two armed men in water lane Clarendon attack the man and spray the man with corn and the man survive god was definitely not this man a pocket and the man make it out and he able to identify the boy them for id parade god is so good me i tell you even if one of them then get they must find the next one you see me i say and i bridge in there if you really pray if you continue pray you see me i say cause i gotta work ladies and gentlemen bugger things media tv up and running bugger things media tv man thank you for watching make sure you share it make sure you subscribe press that notification bell to stay updated man jamaican assassin killing all names urban legend jackal out